All right, so if you are having a hard time putting air into your tires, a possible thing that, that might have happened is that when you rode it flat, you would have damaged the rim a little bit or bent it a little bit. And uh, when you're pumping, you're not noticing that the air is just escaping from the sides, okay? Like for instance, it, it, if I were just to put this, this will just simulate like a crack or something right there. If you just have just that little bit right there, right there and you try to pump air, it's not gonna seal there, it's just gonna escape. So buy these, uh, this uh, twist on uh, valve uh, pump. See here that song? Some um, some soap. So if you're pumping air and you can't find out where it's leaking from, get yourself a little bottle of soap and, look, and go like this. Oop. Go all the way around the rim. This is what I did. Cause um, what had happened, I had gotten a flat also. And I tried doing the, the pushing from the center and it wouldn't seal the tire at all. Nothing worked. I was like, dang, what's going on? And finally, you know, when I was pumping air, I could feel it. Or, here would be the air. See how it's bubbling right here? So you would look for this when you're pumping air in your tire. Spread it all around so this way you'll see where the air is escaping. There was a slight dent where I had it and yeah, it was just doing, see that? You hear that sound? It was just doing that. I'm gonna pull this out, okay? So if you have that sound, let me put this back on here. If you have that sound coming from that where the leak is, what you need to do, it, wh wherever you find where, the li where it's bubbling, where you're pumping air, press down on that side. If the air is coming out of here, the air is coming out of here, press on the right here, press on the rim. So this will the air would see you would temporarily seal it enough that the the tire would flex, and it will just seal off. It'll it'll. So this is where I have that slight dent. You can see where the air is bubbling now, right there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb right above where the tire is. I'm going to push down as I'm pumping air. And just keep your, th keep your thumb on there until you feel the tire flexing and holding there. And just keep pumping and pumping and then there it is. Alright, so it's done. It automatically shuts off there. That's rock hard right there. Rock hard. All right, so I got some depressing situation here. I was on the bicycle lane and there was broken glass. I couldn't avoid it in time. But yeah, it punctured it. So it's like almost a smiley face. You see this wetness right here? That's a whole line from this end over here. That's more of a nail puncture. And I don't think uh, the flat out will probably take that out. So, but yeah, it's a nice open cut here from a, from the uh, from the glass. So that's terrible, you know. Um, so my option is maybe I'm gonna have to do, do replace it with a solid now, or I can try one of those plugs that you can use for the car. Those things I wanna. But these things seems a little bit. Yeah. So I'll get. I can't lose. So it's worth a try. I'll probably do that. I'm going to just drill a hole here. I'll probably videotape that. But for now, I'm just um, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to probably order me a, a solid tire and see how that works. Installing that at least for the butt, the front air. So I've decided to just uh, give flat out a try first before buying a solid. Um, from reading reviews, look like it, it should seal the get the the cut I have on the tire. So we're gonna give that a try and find out. And so if you have the similar situation, you know if flat out's gonna work or not. But I'm gonna save this for the uh, next video. So look out for it. And um, also got some other videos that I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna give you a little preview of that also. All right. I bought these tires here. 
So this one I bought originally, but it wouldn't fit. So as you can see, it's real. It's pretty stiff. It's pretty heavy and stiff compared to this one here. I've had experience already with this one. I've replaced it with on my Xiaomi and uh, successful placing that. So. Yeah, so this one here, 15 bucks, and then this one here, 40 bucks. So if you're thinking of, if you saw this tire, and you're thinking of getting it, it's not going to fit your Xiaomi on it. Just look. The inside radius, the diameter is a bit small. So if you're in a budget for some scooters, check out OfferUp. Sometimes you'll find good deals just like this. 30 bucks for a Jetson B. Niña colada a cosepe No ye pibu sec chorum drippe Chigam ne hende pone bitchin Oni mo sibe nan and trippe Nan and trippe Niña colada a cosepe No ye pibu sec chorum drippe Chigam ne hende pone bitchin Oni mo sibe nan and trippe Drink that pinnacle 